A new soft bait that I'm really excited about that's just been launched in the Fox Rage range is the Slick Finesse. It's a split tail that can be rigged in a variety of different ways. It's available in a few different sizes and colours and although most people will probably have it in mind as a lure that is fished from a boat, whether that's pelagic fished or jigged, today I'm out on a gravel pit and I'm going to show you a few ways of how I would go about fishing the slick finesse from the bank. So I'm going to be doing a little bit of jigging, cheb rigging and also drop shotting as well. I've just moved into a new swim and I'm going to try a few different methods here. I've started off fishing with a jig, so I've rigged the 11 centimetre slick finesse on a 5 gram jig head. Basically I'm trying to fish as light as I possibly can and that's to give the soft bait the maximum amount of hang time before it starts falling back down to the bottom and also it makes it easier for the fish to inhale as well. I'll give this a few casts and then if I don't get any bites I'll probably change to a chatterbait with the slick finesse rigged as a trailer and give that a few casts as well because they're both great methods for searching. If I get any bites or catch a fish I might even try the drop shot as well because that's a great way of picking up a few extra fish from a swim. The Slick Finesse has kind of evolved in design from another one of my favourite shads in the Rage range, which is the Slick Shad. So they've both got a very slender profile to them, but with the Slick Finesse there's a couple of key differences to it. The first is that you'll notice that it has a much larger eye to it that gives the lure a bit more of a strike point. The second is, instead of a paddle tail, it has a split tail or a fork tail at the back of the lure. So, although when you fish it on a straight retrieve, obviously there's no paddle tail, it doesn't swim from side to side. When fished on a drop shot rig or a normal jig head, that fork tail flutters up and down and you've only got to impart the tiniest of movements into the soft bait and it gives it a fantastic action as if the fish is stunned or dying. And then the third main difference, which you can't really tell by watching the video, is that it's, got, it's made out of a much softer, soft plastic. Um, the material that's used to make the slick shad is a bit tougher, but with the slick finesse, it crushes a lot more easily, so that when a fish inhales the soft bait, it's easy to crush down, especially when it's rigged on a Texas or extra wide gape hook. I'm gonna to talk to you a little bit about the ways that I like to fish the slick finesse. And the great thing about it is that it's such a versatile soft bait that it can be fished in a number of different ways. Probably the most common method would be to rig it on a jig head. So this is the 11 centimetre model. At the moment I've got this rigged on a 5 gram jig head. I like to try and rig them up on jig heads as light as possible and that's because it hasn't got any appendages to it like a paddle tail, curl tail, um, things that might slow down the fall. So if you rig it on a fairly heavy jig head it sinks like a stone. That's great for fishing in deep water, but when you're fishing somewhere a bit shallower, by fishing as light as possible, what it does is that each time you jig the lure, it just gives it a longer hang time and more time for the fish to follow it down and take it on the drop. Because it hasn't got any appendages, the slick finesse isn't really designed to be fished on a straight retrieve. So the way that I would fish it on a jig head is by casting out, waiting for it to fall to the bottom, then hopping it all the way back to my feet. Just let it fall onto the bottom for a couple of seconds, hop it again, and just continue your retrieve back to the bank. That's a great method for searching for fish, covering lots of water, and is often my go-to method. For fishing on snaggier venues, instead of using a normal jig head, I'll often switch to a cheb rig, so, I've got an articulated head here fixed onto the front of an extra wide gape offset hook. So this slick finesse is rigged Texas style and I fish it in a very similar way to the jig. So letting it fall to the bottom, hopping it 
letting it fall back to the bottom again and just continuing that tree retrieve all the way back to the bank. With the Cheb rig, because the head is articulated and the soft bait is semi-buoyant, it'll often sit upright like this and it looks really tantalising and it also makes it a little bit easier for the fish to suck up off the bottom if they decide to take it that way. So rigging it on a jig head or on a Cheb weight is a great way for searching for fish. But when you've found a shoal of fish, often switching to a drop shot rig can be really effective. And there's a couple of different ways I like to rig it on two different types of drop shot rigs. The first of those is on a classic style. So we use a standard drop shot hook with an outturned eye, and then I just lip hook the soft bait onto the drop shot hook. By lip hooking the soft bait, it helps get the maximum amount of movement out of the lure. And although you can cast it out, wait for it to hit the bottom, and then impart tiny little twitches in the rod tip to, to help it move around, often just dragging the drop weight along the bottom and keeping in touch with it is enough to get the, a lot of movement out of this lure. As the drop weight's bumping over rocks, boulders, and other bits of sediment on the bottom, it just gives it a really natural look as you're retrieving the lure. So that's rigging it on a normal drop shot rig. But another way that I like to rig it is on a slightly different kind of drop shot hook. It's called a cover shot hook. And this is great for drop shotting in slightly weedier locations. So often on big gravel pits like the one I'm fishing today, you'll find sort of plateaus where there are pockets of weed and it's often around these pockets where you'll find all kinds of predatory fish and the bait fish that they predate on as well. So by fishing this style of drop shot hook, what it allows me to do is fish it in and around weed without me catching quite so much of that annoying weed that you would normally pick up if you were fishing a normal drop shot hook. So it's essentially Texas rigging through the weed. Another method that the slick finesse really lends itself well for is pelagic fishing. Now I can't really explain that today because I'm fishing from the bank and I, I really need to be fishing from a boat to show you how it works. But essentially you're using a, a large split tail such as the 20 centimetre or 16 centimetre models and this is where you use your fish finder so your sonar, your side scan and your down scan all together at the same time to search for fish and then once you've got a fish in front of you on the screen you lower the soft bait down towards the fish not too close so that you don't spook it but often just holding it there under the boat the zander which you're mainly targeting when pelagic fishing will look up see the soft bait and come up and nail it and the most exciting thing about it is that you can watch it happen in real time all on the screen of your fish finder and it's really exciting. So if you're ever out fishing on a boat, it's a great method to try and the slick finesse is perfectly suited for it. I've talked about the various rigging options that you can use when fishing the slick finesse when fished on its own, but it also works really well as a trailer for other types of lures as well. This one here I've got rigged on the back of a fox bladed jig and when you retrieve it through the water, it helps give the other type of lure an extra additional action that looks really, really enticing. So it can work really well as a trailer for other types of lures too. So these were a few of the methods that I like to use when fishing the slick finesse from the bank, but they can also work just as well from the boat. So if you're out on a reservoir or a large lake, give them a try too, as they can be really effective.